Hello YouTube, I am the Top Hat Gaming Man and I am once again back home in the United Kingdom. You see, I wanted to pop home and visit my family for Christmas before I once again resume my travels around the world and continue to review great handhelds. Yeah! But obviously because I'm on an adventure for one entire year, sadly I have had to rent my own home out. So in the meantime, I've had to put my whole collection in storage, in boxes, in my parents' house. But as you can see for all of you today, I have got some of it out for you and created this beautiful set. Yeah! Behind you is pretty much the personification of 1980s Britain. So, something I thought for you I would do today, and something going forward on my channel, I thought what I'd do is go through some of these boxes I have in storage so you can have a nose about in my personal possessions. So, here we go. Let's look through this bloody box. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I've got about, I can't tell you how many boxes I've got, maybe about 20 in total. So, um, actually I'll pick it up. I'll tell you what, I will pick it up. <sighs> So, I've got so many of these bloody boxes, and I just thought it would be a nice little change of pace looking through them in between all my review and history videos. Anyway, let's go through it, shall we? Ah! Okay, what have I got in here? Bubble wrap! Everybody loves bubble wrap, don't they? Just listen to this. How therapeutic. Let's see what else. Hmm. A Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, um, Game Boy, um, what's it called? Manual, that's the term. In fact, um, the reason why it's not in its um, box, this must actually be a spare. So, if any of my loyal viewers at home need a Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening um, manual, send me a message and I will donate it for you because I am a really nice man and not one of those scummy Jimmy Savile resellers. Ugh. Anyway, what else have I got? Loads of uh, bloody, um, loads of bloody posters by the looks of things. Most of them probably I'm not interested in, but let's see what I've got here. Hmm. Sinclair ZX80, what am I saying? ZX Spectrum 1, 128 poster. I'm tripping over my words for some reason. What a bloody bumbering idiot. Hmm. Do you remember these? Came with 64 games, not that interesting. Boring, 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 boring. They're just posters, just posters. We get to interesting stuff. Poster, 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 poster. Right, I can't be bothered to look through these posters, so they're going on the floor. If anyone wants a video on posters, just let me know, but I can't see anyone being interested in that. Not me personally, anyway. Right, I got this when the Nintendo GameCube was first released. Maybe even... Um, pre-release actually, all it is is it's a little disc in this um, in this cool um, case I suppose you'd call it and it's um, a preview CD-ROM of all the upcoming game um, GameCube games so I might watch that later not watched it since I purchased it, okay now we're getting into big box stuff so, the Super Game Boy and uh, the game cartridge in the front of it is actually um, Donkey Kong 94 for the Game Boy I actually covered that in one of the videos on my channel. So if you'd like to learn about that, I would look for that video um, after you've watched this one. Because um, Donkey Kong, for the Game Boy, is actually compatible with the Super Game Boy and you can play it in full colour. Yeah! Ah. Mario Paint. Whilst I like the box, I'll be honest with you, not really my thing, but I, I do absolutely love the big box um, Super Nintendo games. I think they're absolutely ravishing. Uh, here's a common game, Earthbound. I saw this game bloody everywhere in America. I went every retro game store had multiple copies of this bloody game. And for some reason it's like at a ridiculous price. Obviously it's um, a lot more mythical to me as a Brit because Earthbound was never released at home at all. So with the ridiculous prices of the game, I was always under the assumption that it was rare, but for some reason Americans have been paying crazy amounts of money for it, despite it being available literally everywhere. So that's a bit confusing, but here's my complete copy of Earthbound, which um, 
I paid for um, using my money TNA Wrestling paid me with. It. <laughs> right, what else have I got here? Lilat Wars, which is um, Star Fox 64, but because us um, Europeans are far more cultured than you Americans, we of course already had names, games named um, Star Fox, and there was a German company named Star Vox as well. So that would have been a bit confusing for us, wouldn't it? There's a game called Star Fox on the um, bloody um, Commodore and stuff like that, and there's a German company called Star Fox, so all we would have needed was another bloody Star Fox. So uh, we had Starwing on the SNES, then Lilat Wars on the Nintendo 64. Again, in this beautiful big box, which came with a bloody rumble pack. Hmm. Another one. Big box Lufia. Again, exclusive to Europe, this, this big box version. And speaking of that, uh, it's got a price on here, actually. So you can tell how long this has been in circulation. Last time, well, I think I paid, I don't know, 60, 70 pounds for this game. And uh, the language is in German, which is a tad annoying for myself. But again, the price at the top, it says 129 bloody Deutschmarks. Deutschmarks? That's been out of circulation for bloody years. They're bloody European Union idiots with those bloody Euro coins, which, and the notes like Monopoly money. Filthy cash, I hate it. Anyway. Another big box. Super Metroid. Again, complete. I'll show you actually. All these big box games come with these um, these lovely players' guides. Um, you Americans at home have most likely seen the Earthbound one at least once or twice in your lifetime. But we had quite a few of these um, big box uh, players' guide games here in Europe, which I think are absolutely lovely. Hmm. What else have I got in this bloody box? Um, I found this on one of my many trips to the British colonies, not the one I've just come back from, but uh, I think December last year. And what this is, is a, a factory copy of bloody E.T. for the Atari. Because uh, basically I just found it amusing because um, many silly Americans tend to blame this game for that um, mythical uh, video game crash that only happened in their own country, but not around the rest of the world, but they don't think about that. Hence all these bloody beautiful systems we had here in Europe. <laughs> Anyway, what else have we got here? Game Boy printer. Who remembers that? Linked up to the Game Boy camera. Um, what I've got to say about this, really. Apparently, uh, it has an internal laser to print off the photos, so you can't ever actually run out of ink because um, the ink was actually on the paper itself. Um, so if you bought some paper these days, um, apparently it still works, but where the paper's deteriorated a little bit, um, you don't get a good print anymore, which is rather unfortunate. But I can't say I've tried myself. Oh, what else have I got here? <sighs> Super Mario Brothers the movie? Anyone enjoy it? No, didn't think so. Mm. Mario Mouse Mat. More bubble wrap. Some bloody Pokemon trading cards, um, most of which I've just found around boot sales of pennies, but apparently these are worth something, so so why not? Uh, basically, this is just loads of random shinies I found at boot sales and star rares, so just keep them in here, promotional cards, nothing interesting. Um, cardboard box, Super Mario Galaxy 2, I think this is the day one launch. Again, not that interesting. Um, Nintendo 2DS case. I'm sure that's something what bloody um, Nintendo.com would have just chucked in with something. Again, chucked in with something. Yokai Watch. Nintendo DS case. I assumed again this came from Nintendo.com and would have been chucked in when I put Yokai Watch. Um, Pikachu DS case. Again, I think this got chucked in when I bought the. Uh, the the yellow Pokemon Yellow version 2DS, which I think I bought on a Facebook buying and selling group. Most of them uh, got scalped, so they became a, was going for a ridiculous price. And I think they still are going for a ridiculous price. But for some reason, I managed to get this one cheap. I can't remember why, but I got it for retail price, which was nice. What else have I got here? Uh, what's all this? Lots of nonsense here. Let's go through it. Something to do with Yokai Watch. Again, probably came with Yokai Watch when I bought it. 
Again, something what came with uh, the new Kirby game, uh, Kirby Planet Robot. Yes, Kirby Planet Robot. I've not got around to try that yet, but I probably will do soon uh, when I'm off on my handheld adventures once again. It actually came with a bunch of stickers as well. I got this, um, I think this came with a magazine once back in the day, Nintendo Official Magazine. Um, I heard you Americans stopped reading magazines a long, long time ago for some reason, and Nintendo Power's been out of circulation for a long time. However, here in uh, the UK, we've only lost our Nintendo Official Magazine, which was named Nintendo Official Magazine, um, quite recently, in the last couple of years, I think. But they normally used to throw in GIFs, and this is like stickers for a Wiimote, and they're those... Um, 3D hologram type things. Hmm. Interesting, but I've not stuck them on because I don't like it when people put stickers all over their consoles. Vulgar. Uh, what's this? Apparel, apparently. Official licensed apparel. Uh, this is uh, the Star Fox t shirt that came with um, the newest Star Fox game, uh, which I must say was. it was shit. But um, nonetheless, I bought it anyway. I must be a bit of a stupid um, Nintendo mark, really, but... Oh well, what else have I got here? A boxed copy of Defender for the Atari 2600, as I know you will love me referring to it um, under that name. No, no, don't call it for 2600, you bloody idiot! It's the 2600! No, 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 I'm so triggered! <laughs> well, listen to me! The Atari 2600 was not as popular here in um, England that it was in America. As you can see, we was much more cultured than just having just like the Atari in one era and the Nintendo the era after that. So if we had it, we just referred to it as the Atari, really. So um, I'm too young to remember any adverts if they did call it the 2600 in um, marketing advertisements here. Or maybe it was just the VCS. Who bloody cares about pronunciations anyway? Accents are just a regional thing. As long as you can bloody understand someone, what difference does it make anyway? You just like to nitpick, nitpick, nitpick because you're just annoying some of you. What is with your negative comments occasionally? You're vulgar, absolutely vulgar. But I love some of you, so I'll let you know that. Most of you, actually. It is the minority about, I don't know, 1% of you are evil, I'd say. Yes, that sounds about right. Um, another one for the Atari. Video pinball. Nothing else to say about that. Another Atari game. Amida. Got nothing to say either. I'm sure a lot of these games were just thrown to me in deals and stuff. That's why I basically don't care about them. They would have just been chucked in with stuff. A couple of Wii U big boxes here. Amiibo Festival. I think I've got all the Wii U big boxes. Hence why I've even got, again, ones for crap games like Amiibo Festival. Because I do really like these big boxes. I just think it's cool to have something made of cardboard in the modern era because it's just a lot more perishable than these big cases so it's nice to buy some that you know will most likely hold its value again another big box um, Zelda Twilight Princess HD again um, this is interesting for your Americans I suppose because I've been around your country I know your big boxes look completely different to ours so here's what the European big boxes look like now you know Ah, last but not least, here's a really bloody big box. This is bigger than a bloody console box. It's outrageous. Look at this. It's the Bravely Second End Lover Deluxe um, Collector's Edition. This was quite amusing. I remember when this was released, actually. It's a JRPG. Get this. It's a JRPG that bloody came out in Europe before America. How mad is that, considering a lot of JRPGs don't get released in Europe full stop? But I remember in like Facebook groups, a lot of Americans being really, really upset that Europe got something first. Which I found rather odd considering they get most stuff before us and a lot of the time they get it, um, they get stuff we don't get at all. So, um, uh, you shouldn't complain about that. That's a bit harsh. So, should we have a look in here? There's worse, the last bloody thing. Uh, a game I've not got in here because I've got that uh, um, in another box because I would have actually played it. Agnes, special mini figure, a um, bit girly really, I can't say I ever play with that. Again, a sealed and layer CD. And still, sealed, what is this? An art book as well, I've not got around to looking at that yet, but it's come to an art book as well. 
Um, I loved the first uh, Bravely Default game, and I've not got around to playing the second one yet. But I'm sure I will do soon, anyway. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and um, be sure to check out loads of the reviews on my channel. I recently did a Space Invaders one, which due to the new YouTube algorithm, hasn't had many views yet. So be sure to check that out now. It's jolly good fun, and I visited uh, Roswell, where they believe in fictitious aliens. Like ancient aliens. Can you believe that? How crazy! Anyway, I will be sure to bring to you plenty of new videos over this festive period here in England before I head off to the Far East. Cheerio!